Hi everyone, welcome to today's crafting video. My name is Dabney. I'm the young adult librarian with the Twin Lakes Libraries and I use Fave Inferno. So November, as we talked about in Monday's video, is Native American Heritage Month. So in that video, I talked about some really great books by Native American authors that we have in our collection. And it got me started thinking about like what I wanted to do for the craft video. Because one of the things I've been learning about is how important um, beadwork is within different tribal communities. And I was like looking up all kinds of beadwork and like looking at some tutorials and it was all amazing, but a little bit too complicated for what we've been doing in our take home crafts. So I am going to link um, one video tutorial I found, which is to make fringe earrings because I loved it. I thought it was really great. And we do have the supplies here at the Hancock Branch. So if you wanted to, you could watch the tutorial, come here and try making them yourself or making other kinds of beadwork that you find. Um, another thing I was learning about while I was reading is the importance of turtles. So I started thinking about like, you know, maybe we could do something with turtles. And I did find a really great um, pony bead pattern to make turtles. And so that's what we're going to do. But real quick, I'm going to read you um, a little bit about what I found out about turtles from this website, Made of Hope, which will be linked in the video notes. So it says, to most tribes, the turtle also represents healing, wisdom, spirituality, health, safety, longevity, protection, and fertility. Some Native Americans believe that the turtle contributed to creation because the turtle dove into the primeval waters to retrieve mud to create Mother Earth. And then it goes on to talk about how turtle shells are used in healing. Um, they're used like to make rattles um, for like dancing and celebration. So lots of interesting information in that article. So definitely check it out. Okay, so without further ado, we're going to get started. Um, this is my third time trying to make this turtle. So if you are doing this and you get frustrated, in there. Um, so I've got each of your take home craft bags is going to have some of this plastic um, material in it. It's also going to have beads and it's going to be like all different colored beads. Um, if you want to make it at the Hancock Branch, you can always come by and see us and pick out your own colors. So I have the beads all kind of laid out to the side in a pattern and um, I'll just be walking you through them. So like hopefully We'll have success. Okay. So, ooh, my computer just got unplugged. Let me plug that back in. Okay, getting started. Okay, so I've got my twine. This is the middle part here. So holding on to the middle part, I'm going to thread our first two beads, which are yellow. So they're going to come down here. And then we take this opposite end and it's going to go to this end of the beads. And you just pull that like that. Okay, then your next row is going to be one black for the eye, two yellow. get the opposite end and it's going to go through this row just make sure it's tightened up and centered okay our next row is going to be four yellows So when I was preparing um, 
to do this, I found a really great um, tutorial on how to make the. Oops. No, let's not be doing that. <laughs> I'm trying not to get this like all twisted up because that just it just makes things. Anyways, I found like a really great tutorial with a slightly different turtle pattern. So I'm going to put that in the video notes as well because um, it really helped me when I was trying to figure out how to do this. So our next row is four. I look at those patterns like just without instructions I think kind of I'm like I don't really know what's going on here so watching video tutorials obviously helps me a lot and I'm hoping that this um, tutorial will be helpful to you okay doing good all right next we do something a little bit tricky which is we're gonna add a foot so we do three yellow See, it's kind of tricky, but it's actually really easy. Okay, so you put those three on there, and then your same side, you're going to thread it through this very last bead here at the end. Other side, do the same, we'll do three yellow. Bring them down here and then thread this through the last bead at the end. This is the part where I'm like, oh my gosh, I do not like working with this plastic stuff because I feel like it just is not flat and it drives me a little crazy. Okay, now we'll do our next row, which is six purple. Um, I did my second, my first attempt at this, um, I just got frustrated. And, um, okay, so I put this in through here, and so I gave up. Um, my second attempt, I was using hemp instead of plastic, and the thing is, it was looking very nice. But once I was done, um, the, the design wasn't really staying together. Um, good so like the, the layers like when I picked it up they were just kind of separating out and it looked bad so <laughs> I gave that one up all right now we're doing eight so for me pony beads I've done several projects with them but I still feel like it takes me a long time to, well I mean a longish time to get things done if I were to do them more often, obviously I think I'd be faster, but they are fun to do. You just gotta be patient, and if you mess up, just, you know, undo your work. 
we'll start again. I do craft programs all the time with y'all and I still make mistakes. Alright, our next row is another eight. Um, the turtles are also reminding me, I read this really great book this year um, called The Answers on the Pages. I think it's The Answers on the Pages. Anyways, it's by David Levithan. It's a middle grade book. And one of the characters loves turtles. Um, and he has like this whole collection of like glass turtles and one living turtle. I mean, it's just really cute. It's like a really nice, nice story. Okay. Ooh, we're doing so good. Okay, six more purple. Um, and then getting back on topic of Native American Heritage Month. Um, if you haven't been to the Old Mulgee Mounds in Macon, Please check it out. It's amazing. And they have like a great visitor center and like museum. Um, they have like walking tours. So you can learn a lot there. And anyways, I, they, I follow their Instagram and they had posted about having um, some of these, the turtle shell rattles. So I got to see some pictures of those and I was like, oh, that's so cool. Um, and I forgot to say, I'll hold that thought until a minute. Well, I forgot to say that um, one of the things I was learning about is like finding out whose land you're on. And we are on lands uh, belonging to the Muscogee. Yeah, Muscogee. Pretty sure. Okay, now we're doing another leg. So three, three yellow. this last bead here. And I'm trying really hard to keep my, my all of my um, layers together and even and then we're doing one more leg on the other side so three yellow beads going through that last bead here like right here oh my goodness sorry guys I'm trying to get this all right and then um, four purple Uh, okay, then we're doing the tail, so one yellow. And it just goes through the one bead here. I've never gotten this far on my previous projects, so. Okay. And then one more yellow. Trying to hold this in place. I'll go through this one. Okay, I'm 
so the thing is, I've got, it probably looks really great on, from y'all's end, but, um, some of the rows are really loose, so I'm trying to tighten things up, and it's a little difficult. Nearly done if I can just get um, this little last rose to center up. Okay, just about done. Alright. Okay, now at the end. and everyone flat <laughs> like okay all right so there is our turtle I think it's very cute um, you can either do um, a keychain like at this end you could make it like a little hold on a little necklace if you wanted like that um, but yeah, that is our craft, and this video got very long, so if you stuck with it, thank you for watching. Um, we will be back in, yeah, not next week, but the following week. We'll be back with more Mustard Monday, more um, craft programs. But in the meantime, you can pick up your craft bag in the tea room at the Mary Books Memorial Library. And we will see y'all next time. Bye!